The All Progressive Grand Alliance, APGA, and the candidate for the gubernatorial election in Abia State, Professor Gregory Ibe, has said that he remains adequately prepared to restore the glory of Abia State. Professor Ibe said he has demonstrated a track record in service as the only governorship candidate with a working document on how to enthrone good governance in Abia State. He said his cognate experience in service to humanity will be leveraged to bring the elusive dividends of democracy to the Abia State residents. Joining us to discuss his roadmap for the state ahead of the governorship election is Professor Ibe himself. You're warmly welcome to the show. Now, let's get it started, sir. Um, um, we want to hear from you as we look at how things play out and as we're approaching the elections. Let's start it off from your party. The All Progressive Grand Alliance are not fully grounded in Abia states, unlike the APC, who are also still trying to catch a wind as Abia is predominantly PDP. Talk to us. How do you want to break this political... Um, the political shackles, so to speak, of the popularity of the PDP and the APC in Abia State and have Abga probably overtake them in the polls? Um, first and foremost, I beg to disagree. Uh, Abga has been on the polls in the election in Abia State in the past four, uh, two or three elections. So, Um, Professor Ibi, if you can actually hear me, I'm not, I wasn't referring to, <clears throat> I wasn't referring to whether Abga has been appearing on the ballot sheet. I'm talking more of the popularity of Abga in Abia state in terms of as, as a party, in terms of the level of opposition, in terms of its grassroots base and in terms, I'm putting it side by side with the PDP, which is the dominant force in Abia State, then the APC. Well, I like it. I, this was one of your earlier questions. Uh, there's no dominant party here. Because so far as we are concerned, the last result uh, gave a, a good account of who is on ground and who is not on ground. PDP is no more on ground. PDP is gone after 24 years. And we that studied management, we know that if a state or a nation uh, uh, goes through a particular system more than a particular number of years, from 10 years and above, they need to reform. In other states, there was no reformation for 24 years. And the PDP took it and took it before for a big ride. And today, they are no more anywhere to be compared with. Uh, APC, for God's sake, is gone. What the wave now is Abga wave, Professor Gregory Bell wave. That is what is uh, going on in Abia State. All right, uh, Professor Ibe, we'll need to go on a short break now, but we will come back to you on that discussion. We'll be right back. Stay with us. You're still watching New Zealand Rise News, and we still have with us Professor Ibe of the All Progressive Ground Alliance. And we've been speaking about the prospects of Abga uh, rising in the polls and we are actually looking at how things will shape up for the 18th of March um, governorship election. So, Professor Ibe, you were trying to make a point. Let's pick it up from there. Well, um, like I said, Abga is fully on ground in other states. We had issues with the court, but I give God the glory. And the, the Nigerian discharge that the Supreme Court cleared out of all the issues. And uh, also the procedure of election. So we thank God for that. But for being on ground, we are very much on ground. And they fought us because we are the right candidate. And why am I the right candidate? I cannot but bring the best to my country. 
I did the federal government's reform on public service. I was I was consultant to seven ministries in Abuja. I built the old secretary of Gariki. I built the former foreign affairs. And what happens in my state is 17 local governments. I am the director of uh, research and development for Adia Elders. I have successfully uh, undergone a uh, taking a restart that is totally empirical to make sure that Adia is developed. And I'm bringing experience from World Bank, ADF, UNDP, for all that I have done. And of course, right in Abuja, I have the best innovation hub in Africa. So when it comes to Abia of 17 local governments, I've been able to manage nations, bring about development in nations. So doing it in Abia State, where I have the first private university in Imo and Abia State, Gregory University, and I'm the highest investor, so far as this state is concerned, after government. And I have turned all my money, as God would have it, to help the state. But they have refused to accept development. They, they hate comparison of any sort. I'm building a 1,000 bed teaching hospital. And I wanted to build it in Adia, they refused. I want to build my innovation hub in Adia, so they refused. The university, they turned it down and I built it in my village. And I have 500. And for the three use of Adia State on scholarship, just to close the gap and to prepare them for um, human uh, uh, development efforts of what my uh, manifesto is. 17 local governments that will be new in all the local governments. And then the workers that will work there, I am training them in my university as I speak. So I'm in fourth year, from my fifth year. I've even gone further in order to ascertain the statistics in the state health-wise by doing free medical uh, and uh, surgery. And I succeeded in getting this information and statistics to guide my development. And all the skills gaps that are in the state, I have done it according to the requirements that meet with the UN uh, activity. So when somebody comes here and want to compare competence, yeah. then I'm telling the person, the person is not doing what is right. Professor Ibe, so far as his competence, it is Professor Gregory your Ibe. And not just I'm me, going to ask you if I may or him. Professor, if I may come everybody in Everybody in the state, everybody in Liberia knows that Professor Ibe will do the miracle expected of Abia and not the situation we have found in Abia, where there's decay, no salary payment, no improvement in all sectors, but have decided to declare set of emergency, for example, in Abia, in the educational sector, and then in the health sector. When I built Abia Imo State Airport, Imo State Airport has remained one of the oldest airports that the runway has not failed. It was one of my projects. So I am known for performance, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not known for mediocrity. And whoever that knows me knows that other states is coming for development. The turn of events for first four years will account for what people should speak for. And I can beat my test any day that I will do what is right for my people. When I actually Blinken. Uh, visited my home uh, a year plus ago. People thought it was impossible. But he came to Nigeria and saw what was happening in my home. So all youth in Nigeria is open. Put your ideas to the table if we accept it. We give you food, we train you, we leave your ideas to products, and we market it to a buyers of ideas and people become billionaires over period. This is what the type of life I, Professor Ibe, want to leave behind as a lecturer. 
All right, Professor Ibe, uh, your contributions are noted. But let's still talk about the political dynamics of uh, IBS state. Um, Governor Ekbeazu is also a member of the PDP's uh, uh, G5 group, if you remember, who opposed Mr. Tiku Abubakar's candidacy for the just uh, concluded uh, presidential election. So how is the IBA electorate taking this uh, scenario? And are you uh, using that as a leverage uh, for your own, uh, you know, political uh, bid uh, for the uh, governorship uh, position? Uh, well, you know, I'm not a member of uh, PDP either, but um, he was one of the 5G governors. And uh, from record, I'm not speaking for uh, PDP, but I know that uh, PDP came, uh, I think we came here on campaign and saw a few people at the stadium. And in his conclusive words, he said, I know why people did not turn around to come to this stadium today and give two reasons. But it's not what I'm after. The, the, the governor did not attend to his, uh, his uh, campaign here because of the 5G uh, team. The 5G has affected him greatly. And uh, moreover, the, the PDP has no record that people should be appreciative of here. Then, the, to what's in the case, the 5G case was it, and gave Abga the, 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 the good position they're enjoying in, in Abga today. Okay, uh, uh, Professor, just uh, another question. Uh, Mr. Peter Obi's emergence is still uh, generating a lot of ripples, uh, not only in Nigeria, but of course uh, the Southeast as well. Do you see his influence a challenge uh, to your gubernatorial ambitions in Abia State so far? Well, um, uh, uh, Peter Obi uh, is my friend and my senior as well. I do respect him. Um, any statements I make about his party definitely puts me in anti-party position because we have a presidential candidate. So I, I wish him well in what he's doing and what he's doing will not affect our position in Abia because his candidate in Abia has no value or no electoral value so far as we are concerned. None of the candidates in Abia has, has invested in Abia space. So all of them are just coming here to every year to see the best they can do, to see if they can win. They cannot win. Abia space wants to see results and somebody that believes in the state. So wh whichever party they are coming from, they don't have anything to show to the people of Abia. But I have something to show. In 2020, uh, COVID period, I took charge by donating to the state government 850 bags of rice. I gave them 250 testing kits of COVID. I communicated all the markets in the state. I did not just stop there. I gave, I gave them three ambulances to help convey sick people all over and to carry text, go to Benin, and the back is to do test at an uh, NCDC point. And as a matter of fact, I was supplying the PCR machines to many hospitals and many states in Nigeria. Because in four years before 2020, I started to sell the PCR machines so that we can use more molecules to test diseases instead of using blood. So when I started the civil thought I was joking. But at the end, it gave me a good opportunity to save more people in Nigeria. So I, I, I remain the preferred choice for the people of Asia. All right, I want to say many thanks to you, Professor Gregory Ebe, for your time here on Newsday. Thank we'll you a quick very break. Much.